I don't have to tell you how much this year sucked, because you already know. Putting the stuff that happened outside of YouTube aside, the games that I was most anticipating for this year ended up being kind of a wash. I think it was Ready or Not, Dead Matter, World War 3. World War 3 came out back in 2018, but they said that they were going to try and shine again in 2020. That didn't happen. Once Dead Matter launched, it just kind of just like fell off. At least for me, I don't know about anybody else. It was such a shame because they were giving us like a lot of information and showing off like a bunch of mechanics and cool looking stuff, but I mean, I guess that just goes to show that you just need raw gameplay to be sure that a product actually works but even then they did kind of show off raw gameplay but it was very like buggy so i don't know dead matter i guess we'll have to see with that one ready or not when i initially got it i was hoping that they would you know keep updating the game like regularly but as the year went on they just didn't i mean i guess i should have expected that given how much they've actually updated their website and given updates through their social medias i should have just not had a high opinion of the game and when they did come out with an update it was almost always for the pvp and the pvp itself to me just feels like a generic shooter like the game has a bunch of mechanics but those mechanics really don't shine in the multiplayer like at all so it just feels very generic to me and you know i'm obviously only there for the pve not the pvp i think the best thing to happen to me when it came to ready or not was probably when i went to dreamhack it's probably the first time i've ever gone to like a convention so i guess that was kind of cool but aside from that the, the too crazy but you know it wasn't all that bad because there was a bunch of games that i really wasn't expecting to be good that actually ended up being really good for me anyway the games that i probably liked the most this year were basically all top town shooters we had command and conquer remastered it's a really old game but they remastered it i had a blast with that wasteland 3 probably one of the best rpgs that came out this year aside from cyberpunk i guess man cyberpunk really didn't live up to this freaking hype did it door kickers 2 definitely a fun game that we will probably stream sometime in the future just to finish up all the damn missions even though they keep freaking adding more and those were like my three favorites i would say some honorable mentions definitely doom eternal really good game beyond the wire zero hour among us phasmophobia due process squad because squad actually releases a full game this year and i think that's all the ones that i kind of really liked aside from that there was a bunch of other games that were just kind of like and eh. mods i gotta mention the ismc mod for uh insurgency sandstorm that was probably the best mod that i played with this year another mod that i tried out recently was probably the venice unleash mod as i say that venice unleash which i'll probably post a video about pretty soon here that was pretty fun games that i'm looking forward to in 2021 back for blood for sure thunder tier one and those are like the only two games that really come to mind games that i hope to actually have content for in 2021 probably ground branch because ground branch was really quiet in 2020 ready or not they say they're going to be doing pve updates 2021 well i'll believe it when i see it world war 3 i played the revamped version in the nda build and i gotta say that i'm really excited i just hope that when it does come out that there will be enough players to actually play so off the top of my head i believe those are all the games that i'm kind of looking forward to i'm sure there's a bunch more that i don't remember at the moment but um yeah so that's it when it comes to the games at least as far as i can remember when it comes to the channel itself it's it did well in 2020 it's just towards the end there where it started to like stagnate because i actually wanted to get it up to 10k before 2020 hit but that really just didn't happen like i only got like a hundred extra subs and that was about it but i wanted to get it up to 10k like the views were still doing pretty good but the subscriber count i started out i believe it was 7,000, and now i'm barely up to like 9,600. so i mean that's like an extra 3,000 subscribers compared to the 4,000 that i got in 2019 so in 2021 i'm hoping to get more than what i got in 2019 and 2020 let's skip 5,000 subscribers that's the goal for 2021 yeah and obviously i want to drop some more videos i've actually had a lot of subscribers say to me that i should cover different types of games and i'm like i don't know maybe i might experiment here and there just to see how the video does but i mean if the videos don't do decent then uh your boy can't afford non-decent content if you know what i'm saying i hope that we can have a great year in 2021 because i would like to you know see the channel grow more so that's pretty much 
all I really got to say about this. Um, thank you all for sticking around and watching my dumbass videos, you know. Definitely have a lot of fun making them and, you know, people enjoying them. And, uh, yeah. I'd like to take the time to thank my patrons for supporting me throughout the year. We got Jonathan Gutierrez, Chris Davis, Divine Demigod, Ravus, Sean, Ryan Alexander, Spartan8181 XBL, GeForce Man. These are the current patrons. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and supporting the channel. Also, I want to do a big shout out to Fear Operative. He's been a major contributor to the channel, even though he doesn't like it when I, you know, talk to him about it. But, you know, he tends to send me like 300 Canadian, like almost every month. I'm like, how can I not talk about that? Like, you you're like such a big contributor to the channel if i didn't have that incentive i probably would have you know made videos a lot less frequent so i want to thank everybody who's been donating to the channel whether that be through patreon or you know youtube streams thank you so much for your generous donations it's really helped me throughout this whole pandemic and it's actually allowed me to stay home without having to go out too much it also helps the channel too like when my pc breaks down then i have patreon money to back me up so i could fix the problem or if i need new equipment then and patron money is there. I was thinking about turning on the join button, but I wanted to wait until 10k, but I don't know. I'm probably going to turn it on at some point, but I want to make sure that I have, like, all the emotes and stuff ready, which I don't even know where the hell I'm going to get some of those. Like, I need artists to draw stuff. But, uh, yeah. 2020 might have sucked, but at least it's over and done with. Hopefully 2021 will be better, but I have a feeling it won't be. But only time will tell. So, I want to thank all of y'all for watching, and, uh, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. What's up, everybody? Do right back at it again with another video. It's 1995. Oh, hold up. We're really doing this the right now. The mic. Yeah. It's 1995. It's all right. You say so. Do right, do right. Here I go, here I go, back up in the studio In case you didn't know I was a little mofo W-A-T, no W-Mofo Was who I was, but now I'm do right, do right. <laughs> Times are changing with my name or your range You got the D to the U to the E to the R-A-G What? You still can't find me? Just go ahead and type in Do right, do right, do right. What the hell? What's this material? Did I even spell it right? How's my eyesight? I must be going blind because I'm being sidelined